What's up? You are now tuned in to the network, the YouTube channel that takes complex networking topics and dumbs it down to a more simple language. Today's topic is section 1.1e, Cisco DNA Center. This is a topic in the CCNA exam. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exam blueprint and see where we came from and where we are headed. All right, so this is the exam blueprint for the CCNA exam version 1.0, exam code 200-301. Uh, we covered the same section, 1.1e, in the last video, except we just talked about controllers. I rambled on like I normally do in some of these videos. Not bad for that, so I had to stop it real, you know, stop, stop myself from talking so much and uh, said, well, let's go ahead and cover Cisco DNA Center in another video and that's what we're going to do today. Again, we are just going to be covering the wireless stuff in the uh in the CCNA exam. So if you want me to cover all this other stuff, endpoints, servers and and wide area networks and and IP addressing and stuff like that, bring it up to like 10,000 subscribers or 20,000 subscribers and I'll do and I'll do I'll cover this whole blueprint if you really want me to. But for now, we only doing wireless stuff. So, what is Cisco DNA Center? We know what DNA is, right? DNA is the, you know, the the blueprint of your own body, right? But no, in this case, DNA Center is a product that Cisco came out with, and it's basically how do I say a GUI based or a graphical user interface system system that you use to control devices on your network. Remember, we said in the last video when we talked about wireless controllers right so a wireless controller or when you think about just controllers all together whether it's a video game controller when you can when you control a super mario or even a, a remote control for a tv you use that to control something else right well cisco dna center is a controller it's a controller but it is a graphical user interface controller meaning you can see all these colorful graphs and point and click and stuff like that you don't necessarily have to use just cli it's used to control several types of devices you can control in your entire network i'm gonna log in and i'm gonna show y'all you know how cisco dna center works and you know we're just gonna play with it for just a little bit man this is just gonna be a short little quick you know quick little video on that because you know if you look in the exam blueprint it says here they only want us to explain the role and function of network components so when you see stuff like configure and verify that's when you actually got to go in there configure and verify but I heard in the new CIS, the the new uh, CCNA exam, there's no simulations or anything like that. But you want to at least know how to configure things and you know know where some of the menus are and stuff like that, like we did with the controllers, the wireless controllers in the last video. But anyways, official definition: Cisco DNA Center is the foundational controller and analytics program at the heart of Cisco's intent-based network for large and mid mid-sized or organizations. Cisco DNA Center provides a sig single dashboard for every fundamental management task to simplify and running your simplify running your network. So you look at this screen right here, it, you see how you got these colorful little graphs over here that show you how many healthy wireless clients, wired clients and stuff like that. You know, you could you could see you could go back in the history and see, you know, what happens if when 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 your network went down and stuff like that. Check logs and stuff like that, but it'll be just like you will see a you a visual representation of that you won't just have to read you know just through text of your of your cli and stuff like that it just makes it really pretty it's kind of like a you're kind of like a puppet master because you're controlling a whole bunch of devices it, it, and this is essentially a controller and that's why they put it in this category so cisco dna center is the at the heart of the cisco digital network architecture and that's what dna stands for they just kind of you know like a play on words and is only centralized intent-based network management system to bring all this functionality into an integrated controller and present it through a single pane of glass so if you look at this uh you know i guess this is kind of like a topology right here you have all your networking devices right here right you got your you got your switch you got your wireless devices you got your routers you got your controls etc right that's the physical devices they all report to this Cisco DNA Center appliance. So you'll have that on the rack and it talks to all of these devices, not through SNMP. Remember, SNMP is a language that you use to uh, control your devices. It's basically a protocol, but you use it to, you know, to, to re the devices report to you using SNMP, right? But Cisco DNA Center appliances use what's called uh, REST APIs. It's kind of like a computer language. So it's basically another type of computer language that it uses to talk to your networking devices. 
right? So your networking devices talk to Cisco DNA Center appliance and back and forth using REST APIs. I'll leave a link in the description below on what exactly a REST API is. I'm not going to go fully into that. And then that Cisco DNA Center appliance reports to you behind this laptop on your dashboard when you log in and you see all these colorful graphs and these bars and stuff like that when a, when a system device is down or if a, if a client can't get on in the network you just go into your little dashboard and point and click and figure out it makes it really easy because it's just like i said it's just pretty little graphs and stuff like that matter of fact we're going to go ahead and log into cisco dot uh, log into cisco dna center i'll leave a link in the description below if you go into dcloud.cisco.com you can play with Cisco DNA Center yourself. Matter of fact, you can play with all kinds of Cisco products by just logging in. And I'll go ahead and show y'all real quick. Okay, again, you go to dcloud.cisco.com. You'll log in. Um, you'll log into your Cisco account, and then it'll take you to the DNA Center, or just search for the DNS DNA Center, and then um, you can actually play with Cisco DNA Center. We'll go ahead and log into that. And it brings you to the dashboard right here, which is the main dashboard right here, just like what we saw in our PowerPoints right here, right? So, you know, starting from here, it just pretty much gives you a, an aggregate view of your network. Right here on the on this little box right here, we have the health of our network. We have 89% of our networking devices that are healthy, 90% of our wireless clients that are, are healthy, and 98% of our wired clients that are healthy. Um, I guess the rest that are not healthy are they got coronavirus or something. I don't know. We can log in if we want to find out more information here. Here's our networking devices, right? We said 89% of them are not healthy. So these are the ones that got coronavirus or whatever. I know I shouldn't really be joking about it. This is a worldwide pandemic. But anyways, let's say we want to get some more information. We got, let's say, I guess we got a I guess we got an, an access point. We got a wireless. No, yeah, let's take a look at our access points right here we got 27 access points right here uh one is in critical condition apparently let's say if we want to take a look at that go to the one right here and i guess it's that device it's not a it's not an access device i'm sorry it's not access point this is an access switch so this switch right here is having issues we want to drill down and find out what's wrong with it apparently it's got 90 percent of its memory utilization here and 93% of its CPU utilization. We're gonna either have to reboot it or upgrade the code, who knows? But that's basically what C Cisco DNA Center allows you to do. Drill down your devices, figure out what's wrong with them. So it's similar to like SolarWinds, if you know about any other SNMP, you know, monitoring tools and stuff like that, except again, it does not use SNMP. Uh, it uses REST APIs to talk to these devices. And those report to you through the DNA Center and then, uh, you know, you see it in these little colorful bars and graphs and stuff like that. Point click. We can go back home by clicking DNA Center. We got here's our critical issues right here. I believe you can integrate your uh, ticketing system with this. We got 74 P1s, 74 P2s. Let's say we wanted to view the details of them. Click that. Here's our issues right here. We got a wireless controller that's unreachable right here. That is, we got one site area, one device down, and that's the host name, I believe, unreachable from this controller. So, you know, it's just like a mod, it's just like SolarWinds or any other monitoring tool. Uh, here's some, you know, it even gives you a walkthrough on what you should do, right? From the controller, verify the last hop that's reachable, verify the physical port, all the way down to layer one, right? OSI model, right? Go back home. These are our critical issues. We can look at some trends and insights. Here's a snapshot of our network right here. We've got 60 sites, one DNS server, one NTP server. Let's say we want to go in. This is our whole network globally, right? We got a site in New York, a couple sites in Texas and California. We, we can drill down. Let's say we go to Texas. Don't mess with Texas. We'll go to San Antonio site and we can add floor, delete building, whatever, import Ikehau, uh, view devices. Let's say we wanted to view devices at this site right here. You know, and again, it's just like there's several type of monitoring tools that are out there. This is just one of them that Cisco has. And it's one of those. So you probably get like one or two questions on the CCNA exam. If I'm, a, you know, if, if I was to take my guess, I haven't taken a new one or anything. You know, don't don't get too hung up on it. But just know that Cisco DNA Center, you know, talks to its devices. 
uh, using REST APIs, gives you this colorful graph. Maybe if you want to, you know, log into it and play with it a little bit, and you'll see, uh, you know, all the all of the all of the neat little tools that that uh, Cisco DNA Center has. You can apply application policies, network profiles, images, DNA Center licensed devices, and again, devices have to have a DNA uh, Center license, I believe, for you to even be able to talk to it. So that's just another way for them to Cisco to make their little money. You can design your network, you know, apply policies again, provision new devices, onboard new devices. Um, another tool that's, that's similar to is Cisco Prime, if you're if you're familiar with that. Cisco Prime is more of a wireless, uh, a wireless tool. So it's similar to this, except Cisco Prime again is, is for more or wireless devices. You're, you use it to look at your wireless controllers and and your access points and and your wire and your wireless clients and stuff. Discover new devices. Let's say you you know onboard a new device it'll it'll automatically you know look for it if you just go to the discover feature let's try that real quick we see our inventory we've got 14 routers 40 switches 23 ap's nine here's the 90 devices 90 success latest discovery so on and so forth we can add a discovery if you all go back home always click this to go back home this takes you back to your regular dashboard here's the other tools we can do command runner look at the topology and we can physically see well not physically it'll give us a logical view of our network topology let this whenever this loads up let's say we want to go to let's go to north america and you see your topology right here at layer three you see we've got our we've got our wireless controllers here we've got our access switches there we've got our ap's right here all the way down to becky's pc And then we got our, uh, we got some hot spots right here. You know, it, 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 like I said, this is, it's a really cool tool. Let's say if we want to take a look at uh, this 9300 switch right here. We see which ver which code it's running, its IP address, the family it's in, it's a distribution switch, all the way down to its MAC address, the model. Let's say if we wanted to run some commands on that device, we could do that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool, man? I never really played with all these features, but again, so this is one of those tools that Cisco uses that you can use to, you know, fully control your network. And so that was just a quick little, you know, rundown of what Cisco DNA Center is. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to experiment with it yourself. You know, you're just gonna have to have a Cisco uh, Cisco account, and you'll be able to play with it. Again, I haven't played with it fully. But anyways, if you like this video, please leave a comment below and let me know what else you want to see. Again, we're going to be doing some more wireless stuff. We're going to cover all the wireless topics in the Cisco CCNA exam, and then we're going to move on to some CCNP topics. Uh, you know, hit the like button if you like this video, and also please hit the subscribe button. That is my YouTube page right there. That is my Twitter handle if you want to add me on Twitter. In other words, comment, like, subscribe to the network.